25th year anniversary special. Silver Nemesis, 3 out of 10. People and Cybermen travel throughout many different times to arrive at the same date, 23rd of November 1988. The reason? They're all after a living statue with the power of life and death for whoever possesses it, possesses it. Of course, the main reason for this choice of date is that it marks the 25th anniversary of the programme. Whilst this is supposed to make us excited about the history of the show, it serves more as a sad indictment as to how far such a great series had regenerated, degenerated throughout the 80s. Hartnell's era was so full of drama, innovation and wonder that carried on well through Troughton, dipped a bit, in my opinion, with, with Pertwee, and had a completely new lease of life with Baker. Some of Davison's serials were good, and he isn't a bad actor at all. Colin Baker I found very difficult to warm to as a doctor, although I liked him as an actor. And Sylvester was great, as was Ace. But they just seemed really let down by a lack of budget and good scripts. They were beset on all sides by difficulties. The BBC seemed to want to get rid of what they saw as old hat at the time. The public seemed to be rapidly losing interests, and producers were who were trying everything to aid its recovery, just didn't seem to have the ability to do so. They brought back the Daleks, and it worked. They brought back the Cybermen, and unfortunately it doesn't. Rather like the Master's fall from Sinister Moriarty to Pantomime Foe, the Doctor's third biggest ad adversary went from being a sinister alien, uh, villain to a one-dimensional enemy with none of its former menace by the end of the 80s when the classic series was cancelled. The difference here is very much in the writing. In Remembrance of the Daleks, it works because the Doctor and his enemy were given the right amount of good writing and production to make the viewer care. In this serial, serial however, the writing goes from being overcomplicated, moving all over the place, I've no idea what the story was about to be honest, and ridiculous. The acting is awful in most of the scenes. I want to like this era, era my era, when I first watched Doctor Who, but I'm finding it increasingly difficult, even with the wonderful uh, Sylvester and Sophie at the helm.